Thanks for watching No Vacancy News with me, your host, Glenn Hausman, brought to you by SkyTouch, the industry's leading cloud-based PMS. I'm with Ken Green. He's the president of Americas with Radisson Hotel Group. And, uh, you know, Ken, one of the interesting things that I find is when folks such as yourself, you make your way all the way up the food chain to get such a great role. I want to know a little bit about your career path. What was your strategy in order to keep getting promoted and promoted throughout your career? Uh, failure. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm doing something right. <laughs> you know, I think, uh, listen, I, I think uh, throughout a career, you try to do a couple different things. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I had a great mentor who was a retired admiral. He told me, Ken, you do three things in life and you'll be highly successful. Right. You know, be a sponge, take in as much knowledge as possible. Do every single, you know, number two. You know, do the things that you don't like to do with as much passion as the things you like to do. Right. And then three, never forget uh, how you got to where you got to. Be humble and, and, and remember the people that helped you along the way. And, uh, you know, there's sometimes in, uh, as you do a, a, your career growth and you go up in these leadership positions, right. it's, it's some, a lot of times it's not a straight line. Um, and uh, listen, the more you try to do the right things, sometimes that doesn't work uh, to your advantage. Um, but uh, I'm a big believer if you do the right things uh, with integrity. Uh, you, uh, you, know, you focus on your customers and what they want and you try to deliver on that. You hire great people uh, that are customer centric. Uh, you hopefully they're confident in what they do, but they're humble in how they approach it. Uh, and you allow them uh, to, uh, to, to build uh, the strategies to make you successful. As a leader, I look at, you know, my job is to do a couple things. One is where there's a barrier, knock it down. Right. Where there's a gap, build a bridge. Um, and to inspire people to accomplish things that they never thought they could accomplish collectively. And I think that's a very cool thing. That is a cool thing. But the one question I have for you is how do you discern between a good opportunity and something that might steer you in the wrong trajectory? Yeah, so sometimes you never know. I mean, I think sometimes you think there's an opportunity that uh, is, is a wonderful thing. Um, you know, it might be a business opportunity. It might be a career opportunity. Um, I think, it, uh, and there might be things that you think, Jesus, this, this isn't right. Um, again, I go back to the, 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 the pillar of, you know, do everything that you don't like to do with as much passion right. as the things that you, you like to do. If you don't want to do it, a lot of people, other, uh, other people don't want to do it as well. And sometimes those lead to great opportunities. And so, um, again, I think you, you stay true um, to your core values. Uh, you, uh, you focus with integrity, customer centric. Uh, a, a, a servant uh, mentality, uh, and you do it with a group, great group of people, and good things will happen, whether it's a bad opportunity or, or a great opportunity. And sometimes those bad opportunities turn into the best things in the world. Yeah, they, they certainly do. So the last question I have for you today yeah. is uh, everybody's career is the same. You have great things happen to you and major setbacks. Sure. When, you, when you had one of those major setbacks in your career, how did you motivate yourself to move forward instead of, instead of getting caught up with uh, sadness and depression and feeling like you're no good? Yeah, so failure is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, without fa failure, you don't really know what success is. Uh, without failure, uh, you know, you, you'll never innovate, and you can innovate yourself. Uh, uh, you know, the, so uh, I think, you know, when you have those, you know, those setbacks, those failures, uh, it just, it, it, for me personally, it motivated me to be better, uh, motivated me to understand where my gaps are. Uh, we all have them. We yep. still have them. Uh, how do you, you know, and what is the action plan to, uh, personally to, to, to draw, you know, make the, you know, fill those gaps in? Uh, what do I need to do differently? What have I learned from the experience? And, and you can't sit back and, and, uh, and wallow in, in the sadness of your failure. Um, it needs to drive you to uh, better success. And I think, you know, we do that every day in the hotel business in terms of rolling out new uh, strategies, new initiatives, new standards, new, new ideas. Um, that's innovation, and I think you can do self-innovation, and I think that's, that's, that's what, uh, you know, good leaders do. And Excellent. Yeah. I, I love it. So here's one great leader. Now you know how to be a great leader, too. So for Ken Green and myself, Glenn Hausman, thanks for watching No Vacancy News.